much to see and do at Gaylord Apriland this Christmas. There are some hidden gems you don't want to miss. You may notice the Delta flatboats behind me because I'm at Water's Edge, where you'll find the Build-A-Bear workshop and the gingerbread decorating corner and bakery. We're about to make some sweet treats. Nestled amongst all of these goodies here at the Gingerbread Bakery, I'm joined by Gigi Butler, who's going to be teaching us how to make something really sweet for Christmas, right. Christmas peppermint bark. Yes, Christmas peppermint bark. And the thing you really need to do is you need to start with a high quality chocolate. Okay. So this Ghirardelli is the best you can get. I agree. Don't just do the typical melting chocolate that you get at the store. Sure. You have to have it really good chocolate. So we start with our chocolate. Okay. I put three bags in here and this is a double boiler so you should always melt chocolate on a double boiler because it's just better it doesn't burn right. so we have it melted down the chocolate goes first okay I'm going to take a teaspoon of peppermint oil oh. peppermint extract who knew there was such a thing who knew <laughs> and stir it in okay. so this is now ready to spread on our tray and most people don't have a commercial tray like that. Yeah. You could use a tray at your house. You could use a cookie sheet, I'm assuming. Yeah. You just put some parchment on. Yes, parchment paper. Okay. And then, oh, it smells so pepperminty. Yeah. So good. It's so beautiful. Okay. So that. I'm going to spread the chocolate. Wow. Okay, now we spread. Beautiful like so and you don't want to get it too thin but yet you're going to have to want it to where it's going to break because we're going to be adding more to this right okay okay after our chocolate layer you've yes. melted the white chocolate yes so we're putting another teaspoon of peppermint extract in okay. the peppermint extract real gets in there and hardens your chocolate so once you put okay. that in there you don't want to wait long no you don't okay. And if you don't have a double boiler, couldn't you do two pots on top of each other? You can, okay. or really stir constantly on your stove on sure. low heat. Sure. So I'm going to drizzle carefully this because okay. I have to spread it evenly. And when you say, you know, oh, peppermint bark, no, this is the bomb. <laughs> this, is not, this is the peppermint bark. This is not your average pepper. We're not no. going to the store no. and no. This is not your average peppermint. And that's why it's so important to use a good quality chocolate. So you are truly spreading joy. <laughs> <laughs> spreading chocolate and joy, everyone. That's well, isn't that what makes your chocolate that's so good? Is that right. you're spreading joy into all of it. I just, I feel all the love and prayers going into everything right. you make because you're in the kitchen making everything daily. at Pies by Gigi. Yes, daily. Okay. I was there all day yesterday and be there today and, and we are getting ready for Thanksgiving. It's going to be huge. I love it. And you're doing everything but the turkey there. We are. Yes, we're doing all the sides and green bean casserole and sweet potato casserole and so lots of good things. Love it. So to add a special flair you want to use some sanding sugar, right? And then we take our peppermint chunks and you place them. And that came like that. You didn't have to like whack any peppermint candies. You can whack them okay. depending on how much anger you okay. have, but you don't have to. It comes in a bag and it just says Christmas does. It says home, homemade Christmas. And then once this dries, this bark will be ready to break and put in bags and you can use it for your holiday parties. You can gift it. This, is, this would make a wonderful gift for anybody. I mean, who doesn't want peppermint chocolate bark? Hello. You've got some beautiful clear cellophane bags right. here with the little ribbon. Mm -hmm. And this would be a great party gift. I mean, this wonderful is single gift. serve. And look how easy this is. This is not for the skilled person. Anyone could do this. Right but they can also have a really good homemade gift that doesn't take you a long time. I love it. And it's creative. And in this time and age, everyone wants something that's from the heart. Absolutely. And tastes fantastic. I love it. Well, Gigi, thank you so much. We thank can find you. your creations at Pies by Gigi in Brentwood yes. or shipped anywhere in the U.S. Yep, shipping nationally. So we can take our masks yeah. off. So if we're eating. Welcome Christmas.
It's, it is, it's all the flavors of Christmas coming alive in your mouth. And if you want a sweet treat during your Opryland vacation, make sure to head down to Water's Edge to the Gingerbread Decorating Corner and Bakery. We are filled with Christmas goodies here.